Sunday afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to another video. And this afternoon, I'm going to finally wrap up all the books I read in January. So I got my trusty notebook here. And uh, I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on them. And I'm going to go by the order I read them. So I read three audiobooks, three Kindle books, and one physical book. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the first book I officially read this year. It was on my Kindle, Big Bad by Chandler Baker. And this was part of the Creature Feature series that Amazon put out last year. And this was the last one that I needed to read. This one was about a family who didn't know that the mom was like some wolf creature. And it turns into like a home invasion thriller. That's really all I can say about it. <laughs> it was okay, but it's kind of forgettable. Well, because it's so short. I ended up giving this three stars. So the next one I have is The Topeka School by Ben Lerner. And this was my first audiobook of the year. And I gotta tell you, this one wasn't good at all. <laughs> I actually rated this one star. I didn't understand the story whatsoever, and I was just bored. I really can't even tell you what even happened in this thing, so that was the Topeka School. I think it was more literary fiction than anything and it had like so many characters to keep up with but the story wasn't engaging at all but moving on i have jump scare by judith sonnet this was my second kindle read of january and this one was much better than the previous two that I mentioned. I actually rated this four stars. This was a little novella that was more paranormal. It was about like these kids who come across like a haunted house when they're growing up. And they grow up like 30 or so years later and the spirit of this old man tormented them. And all but one died in very gruesome ways. Now, this wasn't as gruesome as some of her other work. Well, I've only read, like, No One Writes for Free and this one, so... I'm pretty much brand new to her, but I heard that she's pretty rough. <laughs> but this one, I really did enjoy, and I really do want to get into more Judith Sonnet as the year goes. I actually have quite a few that I am looking at on my Kindle, so throughout 2024, you'll probably see a lot of Judith Sonnet on my TBRs. But moving on, the next one I have, this is my first five star of the year, but I don't know if that's really fair, but I really did enjoy this. This is American Drug Addict by Brett Douglas. And this was a memoir about Brett Douglas, which is just like, a nobody who got addicted to heroin, cocaine, and 
everything else. Dude lived a very messed up life. It's a really uh, interesting read, but it gets very depressing near the end because of the subject matter. So that was American Drug Addict by Brett Douglas. I'm actually moving pretty fast with this, am I? <laughs> That's good enough for me. <laughs> Number five, I have my next Kindle read. This was Larval Seeds by D.W. Hitz. And he is another extreme horror author that I recently started reading. This was also on my Kindle, like I said. I rated this four stars. This was part of the Custer Falls Horror series or whatever it's called. And this is about a mom and a son who is plagued by the new uh, boyfriend in their life. Turns out this dude is a sociopath and he infects them all with maggots and other creepy crawlies. This book really goes there. I tell you what. <laughs> this is definitely the definition of extreme horror because it gets into like genital mutilation. It gets into incestuous sexual relationships and a lot of graphic violence. So this one was entertaining, but very rough. And not to mention it was very, very short. So I did really good on these Kindle reads last month. They were all like less than 100 pages. Mm -hmm. So moving right along, my last audiobook of January was Summer of 99 by J.L. Hyde. And I gave this three stars. This was marketed as a horror book. This was as scary as like Antiques Roadshow, <laughs> which means it wasn't scary at all. <laughs> but this is about uh, an event that happened at like a summer camp in the summer of 99, hence the title. And it turns into like a murder mystery and two campers uh, died at the camp and you uh, read this whole thing and nothing really happens until like the very end. So the character, the main character we have here, she wrote like a true crime book about what happened. And that's all I can really tell you about this book. This was nothing at all what I expected. I thought it was going to be like a slasher. But it turned out to be a YA horror novel. So it was just okay. And finally, the final book I read... And yes, I did manage to squeeze in a physical book, Billy Summers by Stephen King. And I rated this four stars. This was a really, really good novel. But I don't see myself revisiting it. It's about like a former... Iraq war veteran who was a sniper and he gets into like an assassination plot to kill this 
man and the mob is after him. So he goes on a path of revenge. That's the first part of this novel. But the second part turns into like a road trip thriller, basically. So he saves this girl from being raped. And they form a friendship leading up until the very end. The ending was kind of predictable because I knew what was going to happen. But if you haven't read this, I highly encourage you to read it. But I thought it was fine for what it is. It still is a very good book. And it's definitely something that Stephen King would never, ever write. But this is my first Stephen King of 2024, Billy Summers. And there you have it. Those are the seven books I read and listened to in January. And I am currently in the middle of of The Extraordinary Life of Sam Hell by Robert Dugoni on Audible. I literally just started <laughs> Everything's Eventual last night, and I got as far as like the third story as of this morning. And I'm also reading Love Sick by John Athen. So I haven't finished anything yet this month, but we're still very early in the month, and I'll let you know what I read, what I read at the very end of this month. So stay tuned for all that, and later on tonight, I'm going to film my review for Argyle. So stay tuned for that. And maybe in the next day or two, I'll probably try and do my next episode of Film in 94. And then I have a review for Lisa Frankenstein coming out very soon. Madam Webb, Bob Marley, One Love, and so much more this month. So stay tuned for all that. And that's all I have for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios. Peace. <laughs>